Hey everyone! As you may know, I'm new to wood turning, and this is my first pin. If you want to see how I made it, stick around and I'll show you. This video is sponsored by Polly Wants a Crafter, Jerry Brown. Gonna cut the stock at three quarter of an inch. Yeah, we're gonna make six pin blanks out of this five and a half inch square. I just love the grain of this curly maple. Got a nice wavy look to it. Okay, halfway done. Did I tell you that I like this wood? I love it. Okay, now we're going to get the barrel out. And as you can see, it matches the other one. Now we're going to get ready to mark our blank. What you want to do is leave a little extra space. That way you can trim down to the barrel. So the wood's nice and flat. And I'll show you here in a minute. You wanna cut your piece at a nice 90 degree angle. Hey, watch those fingers now. Okay, let's drill this first blank. What you want to do is you want to make sure that when you drill, you have no slop. You want that, that hole to be nice and smooth when you drill it down. That way when you put in your pin barrel, it, it slides in nice and smooth. No play at the end of each barrel. Okay, getting ready to do the second one here. Okay, now I'm getting ready to trim the barrel ends. What this does, it eliminates all the glue that's inside the barrel, also providing a nice, flat, straight edge at the end of your barrel end. What I like to do is I like to tighten these down, well, hand tight. That way, when I hit get down to the barrel, it doesn't put too much pressure on it at the barrel. So what you do is you just do it nice and easy. Get down to this edge, that's when you stop. As you can see, it's nice and shiny. We're gonna take off the mandrel saver, put in the tailstock. We're gonna take off these extra bushings What I have here is the bushings that the pin kit recommends. Put on the first bushing, then you want to put on your pin blank by sliding it on. Now you want to put on your second bushing, which is a little bit larger, and then you want to put on your second piece of pin blank. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble sliding this on. I'll just take this off, that way I can get a better grip of it. There we go. Now just put on the last bushing and put those extra spacers on. Slide your tailstock in there, where the mandrel saver is over the mandrel. 
and tighten down your tail stock. What you want to do is adjust your tool rest so it doesn't bump into the wood and you want to make sure that the tool rest is at proper height for your chisels. You just want to be above center when, when uh, turning. Tighten it down and let's rough this stock down. Pretty smooth now. Now we can work on shaping this piece. When turning, you want to turn down your piece of pin blank to where it just grazes that bushing. You don't want to go into the bushing too much because then you'll wear out your bushing. And over time, your pin blanks won't line up right. Okay, I'm working on these ends a little bit better. Then we'll do our final shaping. Get this in real good. As you can see, this area right here, I left a little proud because I'm going to put a profile in that fits the contours of your finger. Makes it feel a little bit more comfortable. That's my opinion. Okay, I'm going to smooth it out with the skew chisel. Now I'm going to start sanding this and what you do is you start with 100 grit and work your way all the way up to 600. Shake your uh, friction polish and what I'll do is I apply it to these mesh pads. That way I can sand up to 12,000 grit with the friction polish. Then we're going to go with paper towel because you don't want to use a regular rag because it'll etch paper towel just tear. And so we'll do our final polish there. I love this song. My buddy made this for me. Well, there you go. It's all finished and complete. I have to say it was enjoyable to make this. I really like it. I put a little profile here for the fingers. So, Jerry, since you've been really nice to me, I'm going to give this to you. Uh, I'll mail it out first part of next month. And uh, this is my way of saying thanks for everything that you've done for me. I really appreciate it, brother. As for the rest of you, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please click on the like button. Please subscribe and share to your friends. The more you share, the more you help out my channel. Stay safe, 
Happy woodworking, and I'll see y'all later.